When I drew sports and or action, I knew it was going to be a challenge. <laughs> I never knew it was going to be this tough though. <laughs> So I play sports, I play a couple, uh, but as far as sports gear goes, everything I have is either just old crappy shoes or a very worn shirt kind of thing, nothing exciting. And I pretty much live alone, so getting some action shots of myself doing something it didn't really appeal to me. So I thought I'd go more towards the action side of the sports and action side of it rather than sports, because we're in isolation, there's not a lot we can do as far as sports go. And I mentioned I live alone, but I do have one other subject. My dog, Bonnie. She is quite wrinkly and has plenty of spare skin, and so I don't know if I'd call full action her kind of optimal mode of transportation. <laughs> Bonnie is a napper. She likes to sleep, but I thought it'd make a great shot to get, like, to freeze that action of her catching a treat out of the air as I throw it to her. She's great at catching. And so the idea, and I thought this would go great with the X-T4 with its million frames per second, would be I'd turn this video light here, light me up, up to max power, go the brightest lens I could, crank the ISO right up and just burst off a heap of frames and freeze that action of Bonnie capturing, capturing, ca catching, catching a treat out of the air. This was exhausting. This is <laughs> you have no idea how long this took to work out. Memory card's full. So the first problem, even at f 1.2, at about two thousandths of a second shutter speed and about two thousand ISO, I wasn't as happy with the quality. I wanted it really tack, fur sharp, and at 1.2, Bonnie just keeps shifting out of focus. It's it was really tricky because it's such a random burst of action straight towards the shot trying to keep her sharp at such a narrow depth, depth of field just wasn't happening. So instead of going the constant burst I thought I'd change over to a strobe, uh, like a, a flash, a speed light, uh, a different light. <laughs> this cheap sucker which doesn't do a constant light like this one here does, it just does a flash. So for the technical side of flash and speed light photography if I want to freeze that motion sharp, I've got to have a dark room. And the reason we're going to do that is flash has its own speed. It is very, very quick. And it's hard to find the stats when you're buying lights, but when you get up to a certain price point, a very high price point, they start talking about how fast the flash of light is from a light. My light is cheap. It is, it is very cheap. I think it was the cheapest studio light I could buy quite a few years ago. But it should do the job, hopefully. didn't quite freeze it good enough but using that flash instead allowed me to be at f10 my shutter speed was just at 250th of a second because that's the the sync speed but my ISO I managed to also drop down to 160 so quality was looking phenomenal um, I'm still getting a little bit of blur but just the right timing if I did a bit of repetition would sort this out and by repetition it's not like with constant lights I can just go and fire off frames I'm trying to just time it perfectly. So I throw and right as she's about to catch it, I go boof and try and take a shot and get that timing right. And I just did it over and over and over and over. Oh man, it, and it, it took a while just to try and get the right shot. So what I'm after here is two eyes would be nice, one eye would be fine, plus the treat, that bit of action inside the mouth and it all frozen and as much of it sharp as possible. And man, it was tough. So what was tricky with that big giant light attached to this massive this massive soft box here, this is huge, is this was taking up a lot of my space. When I'm flicking treats into the air, I wasn't flicking, I was throwing treats into the air, this was blocking off a lot of the space. So I went smaller. I went down to this little light instead, just with a flash on the back and a cord running to my camera. It gave me soft enough light but enough space to throw treats into the air what was the next issue is most of my shots were bonnie looking up 
grabbing the treat out of the air. When I'm trying to get her eyes, I don't want just the bottom of her chin. And so trying to throw them lower, and every time I throw them lower, it was harder to catch, less time in the air. She as a dog is looking straight into the light as she's about to catch it and is unblasting her with a very bright light. So every time she misses it, she's walking off grabbing the treat that she's just missed and I bring her back and sit her down and we just did this over and over and over and over and over. Two and a half, three hours of just repetitive throwing, flash, trying to get it right. And in the end, I finally got some. It's, it is just that, that repetition and it was exhausting, but we got there in the end. Just like the previous days, these are all straight out of camera JPEGs aside from a little bit of cropping. And if you'd love to join along, I know yesterday I said a hashtag that I'd like you to tag your photos in, but I made the mistake of not checking out which one it should be. So instead, today, I'm going to change it to hashtag TB photo. Here we go, hashtag TB photo challenge. Not the one I said yesterday, I'm so sorry. If you can change your hashtags to hashtag TV photo challenge, I'd love to see your work. Or if you'd love to see some better versions of pet photography, check out photography.co.nz. Oh, I hope I got that right. photography.co.nz by my friend Craig Bullock. He is a phenomenal pet photographer down the South Island, also shooting Fuji gear like me. I'm sure he'd love to, you to see some of his work as well. If you can, guys, I'd really appreciate you sharing this video with your friends. The more views, the more support I get, the more likely it is to help me make this a living. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd love to see your photos. Thank you very much for watching. And tomorrow, we are shooting... Please be an easy one. I want an easy one. Come on. Food. <laughs>